what's going on y'all my name is damien and welcome to my youtube channel where i basically talk about all things cloud security DevSecOps, and offer career advice in those domains or in cybersecurity as a whole and in today's video i'm basically going to be teaching you guys how to pass the aws certified developer associate exam based on my own research and also prior experience so without further ado let's just get straight into it so before we get into the big picture and start discussing the material there is two things that I think you should have before you sit for this exam. Number one, if you haven't got any cloud experience so far, I highly recommend you get the AWS certified cloud practitioner, since that will give you a 50,000 foot view of all of the AWS services and what the common use cases are and to familiarize yourself with the cloud environment. And also, and this is optional, you could also get the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate certification before trying this one, simply because that would also help you advance or further advance your AWS knowledge at a very granular level as far as architecting things within AWS's environment. All right, so let's talk about the exam itself so you can get some insights in it. So the AWS Certified Developer Associate the purpose of this exam is to showcase the skills and knowledge in developing, optimizing, packaging, and deploying applications using CI CD workflows and identifying and resolving application issues, specifically in AWS's environment, and it can be using AWS services. So the thing about the certification is that I believe personally, it's great for those who want to become cloud DevOps engineers, cloud engineers, cloud developers, or cloud DevSecOps engineers, because this certification, you're going to learn a lot about the serverless components, how to use them, how to debug them, and even how to use AWS's, their own code pipeline, code build, code deploy, those type of CI CD services that they have there as well. So you really get hands-on and deep in the weeds within AWS's infrastructure. When it comes down to the category of this exam, it is an associate level exam. The exam duration is about 130 minutes long, or it's 130 minutes long. There are 65 questions that are either multiple choice or multiple response. And then it costs about $150 USD, of course, to be able to take this exam. You can take it at home or in a testing center. And then these are the languages that are offered by the exam, which you can come and take, check this out as well. So when it comes to the exam, this is the exam guide, and these are pretty much the domains in which you'll be weighed on. So the first domain that you'll be graded on is the development with AWS services. That's 32% of this exam, right? And that's pretty much going to be a compilation of how you deploy things with a Lambda function or, you know, some troubleshooting with X-Ray and so on and so forth. There's a security portion, which is really important. So that's 26% of the exam deployment. So you're probably going to be thinking about, you know, cold pipeline and cold build, how to deploy with those things. That's 24%. There's also cloud formation and then troubleshooting and optimization is 18%. So you're going to be very hands-on or this exam is very hands-on and is going to be testing that practical knowledge, not just the theoretical knowledge. So now that you have a foundational understanding of the exam and how much it costs and so on and so forth, let's look at some resources that I recommend you guys purchase and also invest in or review to be able to study for this exam. So first up is Stefan Marek's Ultimate AWS Certified Developer Associate course. It's on Udemy. Stefan is one of the best instructors out there. I've used him for all of my AWS exams and certifications. I think that he is very clear, concise, and also is very detailed when he explains all of the services and also highlights what's going to be on the exam and what isn't going to be on the exam. So highly recommend you take this course. He dives deep into things. He also has examples and follow along sessions. So you can go in the console and build with him. And the thing about this course is it's 32 hours. It has one practice test, a couple of articles, and you also get a certificate of completion. So this course highly recommend it's worth the buy. It's worth the investment. Definitely look into it. So with this exam being incredibly hands-on. I highly recommend you either get really creative and start building or 
you check out Wiz Labs and you check out the labs that they have for the certified developer associate exam. These are all the exam, all of the labs that are covered in each one of those domains that I talked about earlier when we were reviewing the exam guide. Definitely take a look at these and really just do each one of them. And it's going to help you practice what it is that you've learned in the course with Stefan. Okay. So that's just also another thing to look into as well. In addition to Stefan's practice exams, I totally recommend or highly recommend that you guys go and purchase the practice exams from Tutorials Dojo. I think that based on my experience with all the AWS certifications that I have, I've always purchased their practice exams and I've always been able to successfully pass the exam. So their exams, to be honest, are quite close to the real assessments. I would recommend purchasing it and continuing to take the exams until you make about an 80% or higher, then you'll be ready to take the real exam. And lastly, when you are studying for your exam by taking Stefan Marx's course, if you want to fill those gaps that you may have, you can always come by and reference the AWS cheat sheets that is created by Tutorials Dojo. And if I'm being fair, these cheat sheets are very, very detailed but they also cover some things that you should remember when you go and take the exam so that you can fill those theoretical gaps that you may have. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys some key services that you should probably pay attention to when you're studying for your exam, okay? First up, AWS Lambda, Step Functions, API Gateway, EventBridge, SQS, SNS, DynamoDB, S3, RDS, IAM, CloudTrail, CloudWatch, X-Ray, Kinesis Data Streams, and Kinesis Firehose, and Code Pipeline and Code Build, and anything within that code suite in AWS, all of their CI CD tooling including CloudFormation. And that wraps up this video, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful in your certification journey. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and also share with other folks who may benefit from this information as well, or who are also studying for this certification. Thank you guys again for your support, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Later.